Good morning. It's Sunday morning here in New Zealand. At, it's around nine o'clock in the morning. Um, and we are on day six of the 30 day challenge. Um, today's topic is do you have a favorite aunt or uncle? And if so, hey Lisa, if so, why are they your favorite? So I have an amazing, amazing, amazing multitudes of aunties and uncles. Um, so very hard to pick a favorite. Um, although I can say when I was growing up, I had a favorite auntie and uncle. Um, and that was Uncle Bryce and Auntie Jo. Uncle Bryce passed away a number of years ago, but he was, him and Auntie Jo were like the young couple that were in love and so much fun to hang around. Um, they, they got married young. Um, they, they, they had, they had my cousin Jessica, um, when I was about nine or ten, and I, I remember that they lived um, up in Whangarei, which is about two hours drive from Auckland. So I remember spending time with them and staying at their place on holidays, um, and just having so much fun. I remember this one time, Uncle Bryce said, "Do we do I want to watch a movie with him?" And he said, "What you know, what kind of treats do you like?" And because I was like a little girl in my element. I love chocolate. So he bought me a family size block of Cadbury chocolate to have all to myself while we watched some war movie. I think it was Platoon or something like that. So from childhood, that those were um, certainly strong memories of favorite auntie and uncle, but actually all my aunties and uncles have had an influence on me growing up. And on mum's side of the family, mum, um, has 10 siblings and dad has five siblings and each of them has has been important in my life so I mean auntie Lynn she is the eldest on mum's side of the family and she's I always thought of her as the glamorous um kind of playboy kind of kind of auntie you know the glamorous one who had the lifestyle and and she's always been really cool um, Auntie Jean, when I was um, going through hard times in my first marriage, Auntie Jean gave me this advice. Um, you know, do you have more da more happy days than sad days? And I actually took stock of my life then and, and realized that, no, I didn't. I didn't have more happy days than sad days. And, and that advice led me to um, ending that marriage and moving forward on to happier days. Then my Auntie Robin was there for me when that marriage broke down. And she was there helping me pack the truck and let me move in with her and stayed with her. I stayed with her for about a year um, during, you know, a really tough time emotionally and and all that. So I just love and adore my aunties and uncles. Um, there are so, so many to get through. Auntie Catherine on um, Dad's side always treated Lisa and I as her... Um, daughters that she didn't have until Ada came along. <laughs> um, so we were always felt special and felt loved by all our aunties and uncles and I'm just so blessed to have such a wonderful family and to have had such an awesome childhood being surrounded by um, Fano that loved us even though even though they actually lived in different countries so when a lot of our family lived in Australia or New Zealand and then we were in when we moved to Australia you know half of them were left in New Zealand but we always felt those strong bonds so so blessed to have so many wonderful uncles and aunties and so that's my story about my favorite aunties and uncles they're all my favorites for all different reasons and I love them all so have a great Sunday and um, catch you tomorrow <laughs>